Welcome back guys to Age of Empires 4 we got it yesterday and it's been a while since our last video I have been busy it's exam time but I will try my best to keep up this game to upload content hopefully every other day I'm going to give my best about that let's begin I haven't I have only played one match so far haven't gone for campaign Let's begin. Let's start from easy. It might seem easy, but it is not. I trust me. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown, so he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. There we go. I haven't done any kind of setting here and there, but I might have to tweak the volume, most probably. Gameplay tips. Make spare man if, if, if you're fighting a horseman. Huh? Who are we playing as, Harold or William? Viking, hopefully. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Well, I have the high ground, why even try? Literally. Attack Harold Saxon. Oh, we are playing as. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And attack the. Okay, alright. I want everybody to attack. 
we can't? No, we have okay. Let's go! Breakthrough! William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Break the shield wall, guys! Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Whoa. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. He aimed right. to lure the Anglo-Saxons into a false sense of victory, causing them to break formation. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Get them! With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Nice, we're, we're, we're getting them one by one. The Anglo-Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. arms reinforced William's army. We need a cavalry charge most probably after we get this spearman. Come on, we need to push them back. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Almost got him. Almost got him. It is time. Additional Norman archers joined the battle. Pick him up. Okay. Go pick him up. Boy. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Now it's time. Attack.
the Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. More Norman cavalrymen took to the field. King Harold is running, I think. Charge! Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast, his army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. But not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman-held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. 
William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harboured William's northern enemies. All right. He would take the towns back by force. It's now looking like a... He's a king in the middle, guys. This is our first. Never mind, never mind. There's the first town, in my opinion. There are the. There's the army. Start burning. Start killing them. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. What? Alright, build up your economy. You can make that there. Um, make a lumber camp here. We need more people. Hmm. That's good, you can see. We are not having anybody on gold and... I don't see any gold over there. So. Alright, I think we need a... We need a person who will... No, wait, never mind. We need a scout. Let us create that. Me? Ubi vado? Okay. Me? 
me as okay. <laughs> Mandis? Right, they say build four additional farms, assign five villagers to chop wood and build two additional houses. Let's build farms then first. It's no big deal. That should get us to four. And create a little bit more villagers. Explore in, in the meantime to find other resources and get these sheep. Escolto. Si. Si. Vado. Vado. This is funny. I. Cavallo. That is mostly usually a. Gold mine or a stone si. mine present, but I don't Escolto. see anything. Si. That's usually the case. Bene. Got enough sheep. Si. Oh no. Ubi vado. All right, buddy. Line up. What? What are those morons trying to do? Like, that's crazy. Three, four, five. Oh, that should do it. Right, got that. Build two additional houses. the house edifico parat vado si spero what you can go and continue that We need gold, uh, but first we need another house. I'm really surprised that there is literally no mine around. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town. But it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Great reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, I can see that they're there, 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 right. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Chapter Fulford. Sure, I think this much army is more than enough. Where are they going? Are they already going to? Act on this, let's command the Let's go. Let's just go. Me. We can create a barracks here.
Let's keep on moving. The right ahead of us is another town. I can see them. Uh, they have a wall. But that's just a Go back, like literally, why? There's an enemy right there. To kill them. There's no reason to go back. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. There is that. Yeah, here are the mines. I was thinking about that. Like, Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. We're getting f enough food from the constructed wines in the stable to produce horsemen. Right? We need more people, maybe three more. Our cavalry was defeated though. Okay. We need 200. We just need to wait for some seconds. I don't get this. Pick up the pace, guys. Get them, boys. Do you think he's moving with that? Pick up the pace. Oh, 
William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Use the tribute planner to send gold, all right. Okay, yeah, why not? We can, we can do that. We can do that easily. I will destroy the Dane camp. How about that? Let's just get this first. Let me get it. And with that we made a stable. And an archery range. And a blacksmith. It girls. They need the healing definitely. Reinforcements have arrived. Alright, good. That is good. Uh, that's great. Alright. Let's finish the Dane camp then. Right, what do do? Okay. We might need that. You. Close this. I think we should make another gate here and another gate here. Don't stop in the middle of the road. Get ready outside door. Right, they have come. It is time. Charge cavalry. Attack the Dane camp after this. I think we have enough army to get those. To get them. Why not? Let's try. They should be right up ahead. Around here. They're there. There they are. The Normans discovered the source of the Danes' threat, an outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment, destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Destroy quickly. I 
have no idea like how long will this palisade wall work. Get push you back. and in front. We can go on a rampage with you. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Can you pick it up? William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Sure, why not? Let's get them ready, boys. We might need a few uh, more archers with really. We're in need of healing. So expressed, compagnon. Parats pour la mora. Yeah, what are these? Escort de Ben. Retourne au camp de Materia. Could do anything, guys. Quoi, me? Can I get a palace gate here? Vado la pora. Mande squid. Oh, you're done with it. Perfect. Make a. Here. Let's get them to heal a little bit, then we'll leave for the last war. Alright boys, we are getting... Les commandements. Our boys were ready. Let's go. This is one big army. 
It is time to enter York. I was thinking, you know. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Let's go. There they are, there are the archers. Here we go. Alright, first outpost has been taken down and they should be right in front of us. Yeah, no. no, this is a there's a bridge, like a city gate. Let's go! Destroy the gate first. Destroy the city gate quickly so that we can enter in there. Oh man, that's, that was quick. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Boys, let's destroy another one. This is the major target right here. And the walls have been freed. Look at the face. Alright, they are pouring in from two sides. This is a problem here. Take one side out first. They need help from this side. I guess we need to retreat. We need to retreat, guys. We need to get back here as quick as we can. Where did they come? Literally what? That was a that was a nice scheme they used. We have been flanked. Let's 
First of all, let's close this. Here we are. We need cavalry. We need everything we can get right now. I didn't expect this big of an army, you know? That's one huge army. That's one huge army, guys. Get in. We need a barracks here. Too. We have everything we need, like literally. We just need to like make it. It's taking too much time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they have come. Attack us, guys. Back people, we don't, we can't afford to lose it. Our town center has been defeated, destroyed. We need last big push and we have won. Like literally. There they are. Big the big army there. We need a, we need a big army ourselves. If we had siege machinery it would be like child square. See, like they're sending one one. I think he's the same idiot that tried to you know, run away. 
Never no, no mind. You can create a market here. Io passo la cosa. Create a market there. Me right now. Let's, let's take anyone who is right here. Never mind. We don't have access to trade right now. I thought we can trade. One final push. You know what? Let's send straight whatever you make now will be reinforcements over there. Whatever you send, just send it straight right there. We will need reinforcements. Let's go! In the meanwhile, it's time to move. One last final push we need is our boy riding right in front of us, showing us the way. And this is how you can get killed. If we are literally not careful. Another suicidal charge right there. We'll bring back the, the army out. Their cavalry is down, their cavalry is down too. This match is right now literally archers versus archers. And we're pushing them back. Let's get them quickly. Alright, we're taking them down. Get these boys. Get the York keep.
With that, it's done. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. All right, that was good. Oh man. All right, guys, this is the first part of Age of Empires 4 campaign. I am going to upload, try to upload every other day. And hopefully, you liked it. If you liked it, give me a like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you in the next one.